morning everyone welcome back to my channel i'm gonna be doing a weekend of my life and i am so excited to just take you all along my first weekend back here in tuscaloosa our full, full, first full weekend um excuse my like whatever's going on right here on my face but it is 9 30 i'm gonna make some breakfast here in a second but i woke up this morning to a like giant cockroach sitting like back there on the floor and I had to like spray it with like the pet safe raid and then had to muster up the courage to flush it out in the toilet somehow for like 10 minutes. It took forever. I literally hate roaches. And but last night Griffin fell asleep on the couch and he came in the room at like 4 a.m. and he was like a bug crawled on me and he didn't tell me what it was but he like knew it was a roach because he could tell it was big. And then this morning when I came out in the living room it looked like a crime scene because there were like blankets all on the floor so randomly and then like the tv and tv stand were like not in place because griffin said he fell into it because he got up so fast so we had a great start to our morning <laughs> it's weird because it's like this apartment we literally like didn't have any like many at all really like literally any until this semester i think we have one last like in the fall and then towards the end of the spring i don't know if it was everyone moving out or what but like I've literally killed five since like April and I, I don't know if y'all remember I don't know if I ever talked about it when I lived in Dallas for a summer But we had a bad roach problem in our apartment there. So love that Let's eat some breakfast. I have quite the day today um, Just to put my to-do list on screen. I am recording a podcast with my from Venus it was, She was on my podcast about a year ago and um, she's coming back on my podcast for this Monday and we're just gonna be like Everyone wanted to kind of get to know her more, so we're doing that. We're going to talk about that, mental health, and then just, like, keeping the conversation going and everything with um, advocating for social justice. So that's that, and, yeah, let's have a good weekend. I got some coffee from Joyful Java, the little truck outside of the farmer's market. Um, cold brew almond milk and caramel, so good. And then I didn't realize it was Saturday, like, as I was walking, and then I, like, saw all the cars, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's the farmer's market today. And luckily, I had my cart and everything on me, but I didn't have my reusable bags, so please forgive me for that. I got some of Elizabeth's bread, the sourdough. It's so good. I'm about to make some avocado toast on it now. And then we just have, like, $6 worth of peaches, which I think is, like, six peaches. No, seven, eight peaches. So we have eight fresh peaches. And I got the rest of my coffee, microphone, and I just sent me a Zoom link. So I basically just go on Zoom and then record the Zoom meeting. And whenever you record a Zoom meeting, it strips the video and audio file. And then it also just strips an only audio file. So I just use that as the um, file for the podcast. And I have all my questions right here on the screen. made my lunch kind of taking a break from cleaning recording with Venus was so good it was really good to like catch up before and after the episode too um that just always makes it like so much more fun um but for lunch I just have the avocado toast like salad kit from Target I made one of those salads because it's gonna go bad like tomorrow or the next day so I wanted to go ahead and eat it um two pieces of celery with peanut butter I am this is like literally like, my favorite snack right now and then I just have some lunch meat and I'm gonna eat this and then finish cleaning I've done the my bathroom and my room um and all the dusting everywhere is done and like cleaning of mirrors i just still have to clean the kitchen guest bathroom and then all the floors and then we'll be done so um that's pretty much it but i will probably go run some errands here in a little bit too so All right, everyone, really quickly, I wanted to talk to you about the sponsor of today's video, which is FabFitFun. You all know I've been working with them for years and I absolutely love 
their subscription service. If you don't know what FabFitFun is, they have a seasonal subscription box that is available in the US, Canada, and in the UK, and it includes full-size fashion, lifestyle, beauty and fitness product. I literally get FabFitFun subscriptions as gifts for family members and friends and they always love it. The reason why I love giving these as gifts is because the value of one product is oftentimes more than what the entire box costs. So it's kind of like giving this really extravagant gift but not really having to pay much for it. FabFitFun boxes are more customizable now than ever. That way you can really fit the box to your lifestyle. So if you're someone who's really into fitness, you're not gonna be getting like a ton of skincare products if that's your choice. If you get an annual subscription, you can literally customize your entire box. For each seasonal box, FabFitFun does partner with a charity and for the summer box, they are partnering with Make-A-Wish and they are really working to reduce waste in their carbon footprint. So their boxes and the paper in the boxes are made of 100% craft um, paper. So they still have the super fun designs and stuff on them. When you're a member, you're also able to like shop some of your favorite brands from all kinds of different categories for up to 70% off through the year because they do little flash sales on their website, which is super cool. Of course, it would not be a FabFitFun unboxing if I didn't have a de deal for you all. You can use my code ABBY10 to get $10 off your first FabFitFun box. So like I said, I customized my box um, completely, so I'm really excited to show you all like the things that I actually like really picked out. The first thing is this Society6 wine chiller. I'm so excited for this, especially because I just don't have one of these and it's actually gonna be the most useful thing ever. It's this tan and then it has orange detailing and it's like a little aluminum wine chiller so you can put like ice and a bottle of wine in it. I don't have this and I know I need it because I definitely love having a glass of wine throughout the week and everything. And this will be great for, you know, like having guests over and stuff. And I'm so excited to move in our new apartment and use things like this. The next thing I got is this citrus squeezer. These are so essential for a kitchen, especially someone who drinks a lot of lemon water. And mine broke. And this one is like way more sturdy and durable than the one I had. So I'm super excited for this. Y'all, I have wanted one of these for so long. So I literally almost lost it whenever I saw that that bit fun was having them in their box. This is the Corksicle little stemless wine glass. And it's literally so cute in the most beautiful blue kind of like subtle shimmery color this is like one of my favorite colors ever it's really great because it can keep like coffee hot for three hours or a glass of wine cold for nine hours and I'm so excited to use this this summer and then I also got a quartz circle little silicone straw that can even fit whenever you pop open this you can just slide it on in if I wanted to drink it like so next up I got this Seraphine Botanics fruit butter lip mask I'm gonna put this on right now because my lips are chapped as ever Oh my gosh, this is like so thick. Look. Oh, this feels amazing. It's cruelty free and vegan, and it has apricot kernel oil and shea butter. And I can definitely feel the shea butter. Like, look how juicy and moisturized my lips look. I love this. You guys, I've always wanted an ice tray that had fun shapes. And this is, this is like such a summery box. Oh my gosh, obviously. But. <laughs> This is in the shape of a pineapple, but then the inside is pineapple shaped ice cube little trays. I love this so much. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to make some little ice cubes. Next up, we have this replenishing rapid recovery after sun gel enriched with soothing aloe vera and niacinamide. Oh my gosh. I love niacinamide. I use it on my face every day. And it's, this is just like a moisturizing after sun gel from an Australian brand. And I definitely needed this last week, y'all, because I don't know if y'all can see. But my leg is literally peeling like crazy. Um, I just look like a snake shedding my skin right now. And wow, I definitely needed this a week ago. I'm so excited to use this. Next up, we have this Ciate London Watermelon Burst Setting Spray. I really love this brand. I've tried a lot of their products through FabFitFun and have really, really loved them. And this, let's spray it. It has a good mister and it smells so good. It smells like a watermelon sour patch kid. I love this so much. And then last but not least from the brand Millie is this really like sturdy structured, love the blue, like little zebra print travel jewelry case. These are come so in handy. And I love this one because it like has a separator and the one I have right now doesn't have that. Um, so a lot of times my stuff gets like all mixed up, but you can like separate the two from each other. So you have like a place for rings and then a little mirror and then you can pull this little tab down and 
then you have a little pouch which is like great for like necklaces and bracelets and stuff so i love this and that is everything from my fat fit fun box um definitely be sure to check it out in the link in the description and use my code abby10 to get ten dollars off your first box and y'all literally will not regret it i have gotten so many people on to fat fit fun subscriptions and they're seriously so incredible so definitely check it out in the link down below Excuse Ella's toys on the couch and on a blanket, but I just got done with the floors and everything and the kitchen and everything looks great And it feels so good to have a like super clean apartment now back into the office too I still need to clean the guest bathroom. That'll take like five minutes. So I'm gonna do that right now um, but The kitchen's like spotless. This is stuff. I'm donating um, but Yeah, I just got to clean the toilet and sink in here and then I'll be done, but I am cramping so bad I need to get Tylenol out of my car because I accidentally put both my bottles of Tylenol in my car. And um, yeah, the cramps are just like really bad today. So I'm gonna get some Tylenol in a second. I might make a smoothie or I might stop by Juice Bar and get one just to support them. I have stuff to make it here though, so I'll probably just do that. Okay, for my smoothie, I'm gonna try really hard not to make a mess since I just cleaned. <laughs> I'm gonna use a little last bit of my greens powder that I have. And then we're gonna do the mango strawberry blend for the fruit from Target. It's so funny how on routine I was during the school year and I was like eating almost the same thing every single day except for dinner time. Like I was always drinking one of these smoothies around the same time every day. Like. I just can't believe the amount of structure I had in my life because it's never been that way. But I truly do feel like it made the biggest difference. Um, just with having that routine, like it helped me so much with just like staying on top of my work and then like not getting like super overwhelmed as easily. And I highly recommend like trying to find like whatever works for you, like whatever routine, do what you can to get it because seriously routine is the like main ingredient in the recipe for just like sustained energy and um getting more done overall let's see if they have more of this when i go to target because i really liked it bought this coconut or pineapple coconut water the vita coco before we went on summer break and i wanted to put it i tried it like literally the tiniest sip of it before we left and I wanted to try it in smoothies because I felt like it would be really good like as like a hydrator and stuff too. So I'm gonna do just some of that, but not too much. Looks ugly, but it will taste great. I decided I was still hungry just after like walking Ella, switching laundry, and then doing other things that just took like 30 more minutes. So I'm now having a Kodiak cake. This is just like the plain power waffle. And I, this is just uh, regular maple syrup. Um, and then I'm gonna put a few raspberries and throw them on and then blow out the candles and head to the store. Okay y'all, so quick story time. I just got out of uh, Market House. They didn't have the exact tank. It's funny because the girl who was working was wearing the tank that I like wanted. So they didn't have the exact one, but they still had this one for 16, which I just like love these because you can wear them with like running shorts. You can wear them with like leggings, with jeans, shorts, with a cardigan over it. Like it's truly just such a versatile piece. And um, it was $16. And then I got this dress and I'm so excited because I think this one is such this is like one of my favorite colors to wear like on me personally and the reason i like this dress so much is because normally v-neck type of dresses i don't like because i don't really have like big boobs or anything so i feel like it just like isn't flattering but i love this one because it covers like all of like my chest and boob area so like it doesn't look unflattering on someone who doesn't have boobs if that makes sense but it's like a just roughly flowy dress and I just think it's so perfect with the boots. So got that, spent some 
I still have some birthday money <laughs> like that I just like cash because I never spend cash and I also went to Play-Dohs yesterday so I was like this is perfect because I have cash on me. I'm gonna go to the grocery store and I really don't feel like going. I just dry swallowed a Tylenol Extra Strength for helping with my cramps because I don't have any water in here with me. I did have to drive to Tennessee two days ago and get fingerprinted for the CPA which I'm like literally hoping any day now that I'm gonna get approved and I can like start my process for getting my notice of schedule and then take my first exam and everything so I'm hoping that happens soon but I had to drive to a really small town in Tennessee and it was like three hours away and I just went after class and then got fingerprinted ate lunch and turned around and came back and if y'all follow me on Instagram y'all saw that I went to the yellow deli for lunch had no idea it was run by a cult-like community or cult I, I had no idea like and it was funny because I posted a story of it on my Instagram that I had like probably 80 DMs like saying Abby this is like a cult a cult runs this place and all this stuff and I was just like oh my gosh I have never experienced anything like that before and when I was in there I definitely had like an interesting experience but it, the people were like beyond nice uh, my waitress was kind of talking to me about like what their community believes in and stuff and I was obviously just remaining very respectful to what they believe in everything I just wanted to like mention it on here and I'll like link the documentary and articles to read down below but I'm pretty sure that they've been investigated for like child abuse and stuff so it's really sad because I thought it was just like a local restaurant in that town that was run by a family and then the next thing I knew they were like trying to get me to come to their like community dinner and because I went by myself because I drove over there by myself and everything and got fingerprinted by myself and I only went there because it was like right next to where I got fingerprinted and it was like five stars so I was like okay like let's go and I'm just like shocked that that happened to me and my gut feeling and my intuition all day long like that morning when I woke up when I was driving I was so anxious and I didn't know why I had people respond saying that like a family friend of theirs literally just got out of the cult after like 30 years so it's legit and I was just like oh my gosh I can't believe that happened to me so I wanted to share that and I'm gonna leave the articles and stuff linked down below because I had no idea that the yellow deli was like like that I had never even heard of the yellow deli but just so like in case any other person goes to one alone and doesn't know like I want to be able to like tell y'all right now um but a lot of y'all wanted me to talk about it on my youtube channel so i'm not gonna go into detail if you want to know the full experience go on my instagram and watch the ig live that i posted it's like my only ig live that's on igtv or whatever on my page so they're gonna tell y'all about that we are currently on the road again <laughs> you do like the fakest voice when you vlog. Right now, okay, so we're currently en route uh, to Abby's Bay. I guess, I guess I'm just thrown to the curb whenever we go to Taco Mama. Yeah, basically. It's literally like, I'm so excited right now. Like, the weather is perfect. It's perfect weather to sit outside, drink a margarita, and eat some Taco Mama. Like, this is like my prime. Sunday, I'm gonna use some of these ice cubes that I got from my box in my coffee this morning just for fun. Literally, never done fun shaped ice cubes. This is so neat. We ended up going and having drinks with some friends last night, and I don't know, I think we got home around midnight, but I'm so tired because I was tossing and turning all night because my cramps were so bad. And I didn't want to like get up and take Tylenol because I can't take Tylenol extra strength on an empty stomach. So, okay, frothed it, but it doesn't really stay because it's not like a, it's just like the screamer. My coffee, and I'm gonna start editing a video that I would like to get up today. It's not the end of the world if I don't, I'm just trying to like make sure I have enough days in between my two uploads a week that I've been doing. Editing it takes me so much longer now that I've been making all of my own overlays on my iPad on Procreate. I love doing it though, it makes my videos like so much more personal and it's like the way I would prefer to edit. I'm just gonna drink my coffee and edit this video. It's 10.30, I have to leave in like an hour and 10 minutes because I do have a nail appointment at noon. All right, I'm going to get my nails done now. I was able to edit through all the footage for the vlog I was editing. So when I get back, all I have to do is like the final overlays music and that kind of stuff but i've also been looking you can see canva open on my computer i've been trying to like 
get brainstorming ready for my Instagram post for the podcast Instagram this week um, and get those made or at least partially made. I can definitely do some tomorrow since I don't have class tomorrow on Memorial Day. I'll be able to get some stuff done tomorrow too, but I wanted to get the bulk of it done today because I just feel like sitting and getting everything done, but I'm wearing this We The Free, Free People little open back shirt that I got from Thread Up and Lululemon Wonder Under Leggings and my rainbow flip flops. Um, nothing crazy, I just, it's, I think it's actually still kind of cold outside so I might throw on a flannel, but I um, wanted to wear flip flops since I'm gonna get my toes done. So you thought that I'd learn then. Hey guys, I'm home from getting my nails done and they look literally incredible. Michael literally killed it at Tuscaloosa Nails and Spa. I'm trying to get like the best lighting possible to show y'all there, that's pretty good, but just like some fun summer look and I love the pink on the thumb and pinky and then I got the same pink on my toes and it felt so good to get a pedicure and get my freaking ingrown toenails out they literally feel so much better now but it's a earlier because I was out of SD card storage. It's 5 30 and I'm about to start dinner but I'm trying to finish up the work I'm doing now. And I just had like my content planner pulled up. I'm just planning out content for my podcast uh, next week and everything on Canva and then getting this video uploaded right now but mainly been working in Canva getting the podcast episode scheduled for tomorrow and getting this video uploaded. So once I get done with making all this content I'm going to start dinner. got most of the laundry folded while dinner was cooking. It was so good. I'm gonna finish up folding this last little bit of laundry over here in the corner and then put mine away. And I went ahead and showered, but I didn't wash my hair and I look super oily because I just put bio oil all over my face. But um, it's literally only 7.30, not even dark out yet. And I'm gonna put these clothes away and then sit in bed and read, I think. I have so many books I want to read right now. If you follow me on, follow me on Goodreads, you'll see like, everything that I like want to read or whatever but I have so many books I want to read and I'm reading like a really dense historical fiction book right now it's uh, all the light we cannot see and it was slow starting out and now I'm like really enjoying it but I'm only like 30% done with it so I really want to like hurry and finish it so I can read other books um and I know I can like read more than one book at once but I know if I start another book. I'm not going to finish this one. And every, I've heard so many people say this was like their favorite book ever. So I really want to finish it. But yeah, that's that. I'm going to get my PJs here soon and just get ready for bed. All right, guys, I was laying in this bed, but I just like remade it back up and I've been reading my Kindle. 1030. I'm going to go ahead and go to bed just because I stayed up late last night and woke up late this morning and I don't want to be like off sleep schedule for my classes this week. And yeah, but thank you guys for watching today's video. Be sure to check out FabFitFun again in the description box down below. And thank you to FabFitFun for sponsoring today's video. And you can use my code ABBY10 for $10 off your first box. So definitely be sure to do that. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Follow me on social media. It's always linked down below. Check out my podcast link down below as always. And turn on post notifications and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video.